Hey everyone, in this video we'll be covering Boolean logic, more specifically Boolean values, comparison operators, logical operators, and conditional statements. So example one is a code tracing problem and we want to figure out what it prints out. In these problems I find it most useful to plug in our variables just straight into the statements and evaluate them like you would in math for instance. So I'll comment on this first if statement and say if plugging in for A, true, and plugging in for B, false, and true or false. True and false is false because both sides of and have to be true for the entire thing to be true. And we know this short circuits because of the reasoning we just said, but we can evaluate just for practice. So true or false is true, false and true is false. So this first if statement will not run. Next, we have else if not A or B, and be careful with parentheses here, because if we did have parentheses, the whole expression would be negated, but since we don't, it's just not A. So we can negate first, we can say not A is false, or B, which is false, false or false is false. Next, we have a really big line, but we'll follow the same process by negating first and sort of working in from the inside out with parentheses. So we'll plug everything in again, true or false, or true and not false, and not true and false. True or false is true. And again, this short circuits already, but we'll evaluate just for practice. Not false is true, true and true is true, true or true is true. Finally, true and false is false, not false is true, true and true is true. So that's a big line of code will be printed out. Next, we have another negation here. And just again, be careful, we are not negating a equals b, we're negating a. So we're saying not a, which is not true, equals false. And not true is false, false equals false. So this is true. And if statement smiley face will be printed out and the else statement will be ignored. So if we run that, we get that expected output. All right, example two says to fix any issues in the following program and then again, see what it prints out. So we have two string variables and if student one major and student two major equals computer science. This is a pretty hard one to figure out to begin with. And this has to deal with the fact that a lot of students, me included in the past, have assumed that Python will just do things for you like this and statement. So unfortunately, Python is not that nice. If we follow our previous method for dealing with these, we can plug in the strings into this expression. So let's say if mechanical engineering and computer science equals computer science. The problem here is that we have two strings on either side of an and, which doesn't work because and only works on booleans. So we actually need to compare both strings to computer science and then because we're comparing strings, this left-hand side returns a Boolean, this right-hand side returns a Boolean, and then there's a Boolean on both sides of the ands. So that would work. So if we fix that, it would look like this, but of course this would not print out because both majors aren't computer science. Next, and hopefully you noticed this one, we have if student one major equals student two major, except we're using the variable assignment operator not the comparison operator. So we'll just make that two equals for the comparison operator. But again, this won't print out anything. And if we run the code, nothing happens as expected. All right, example three says to write a program that registers a student for CompSci 220. So we have some assumptions here and we'll be dealing with a lot of edge cases. So invalid scenarios that we need to think about. First, we'll assume 220 is a three credit hour class. We'll assume that the maximum amount of credits that a user can register for is 19. And we'll assume that 200 is a prerequisite for 220. And if the student can register, 
will print out a nice message and if they can't we'll also do that so first we might want to make a variable called new credits equals credits plus three so this is our adjusted amount of credits for the class and of course a real registration system would be more sophisticated but this is good for this example so first we might want to check if our new credit count is greater than 19 because that would mean we're over the limit so in that case we would print out you are over the credit limit and so the user can't register now we don't want to have another if statement after this to check for the next cases because if the user can't register the control flow of that program should be done they should just stop because we don't want them to do anything else in our system so in this case we would say else and then continue with the rest of our code. Next, let's check for prerequisites. So if we could say compsci200 is not in classes taken, this class is taken list that we're provided, we could tell the user, you do not have the prerequisites for this course and then they can't register. So again, we don't want anything to happen. We just wanna say else. And in this else, we'll handle more cases or the valid case once we get to it. So we have one more edge case and that's if we have taken this class already. So if 220, and we're doing the same thing as we just did basically, if 220 is not in classes taken, well, then the user should be able to register because we finally hit that case. So we can say you can register for 220, but we should still in the invalid case, in this else case say, you already took this class and so they can't register. So we have a lot of nested if and else statements here, but it does illustrate that there are a lot of invalid cases that we need to catch sometimes in our programming. And you'll, more naturally be able to think of these edge cases as you get more experience with programming. So if we run this code, we can see that we can register, but if we wanted to trigger these edge cases, we could, for instance, delete 200 from the classes taken. So that'll do the prerequisites error. If we put that back and then put us over the credit limit, that will give us that error, which is good. We'll put that back and then add 220 to the taken classes. It will say we already took it. And of course, in our first scenario, it works. So that's all good for that example. Hopefully you now have a better idea of Boolean logic and comparison and logical operators, as well as conditional statements and Boolean values. As usual, let us know if you need any help and make sure to come into office hours as needed.